One by one, they were all found dead. More than a dozen sea lions shot, many in the head, washed up around Puget Sound last year, mostly in West Seattle. Sea lions and seals are often seen as adversaries of fishermen. A recent paper published by federal scientists shows that in Puget Sound, seals and sea lions eat twice as much Chinook salmon as southern resident killer whales and catch six times more Chinook salmon than recreational and commercial fishermen combined. Here at NOAA's Manchester lab, scientists are learning more about another kind of fish that may unlock new information to save salmon. So we've been studying the survival of steelhead smolts as they migrate through Puget Sound and trying to figure out why they are dying as they make uh, the brief migration from the river mouths to the ocean. Barry Berejekian is a supervisory research fisheries biologist with NOAA's National Marine Fisheries Science Center. They've injected acoustic transmitters in steelhead that are detected by hydrophones on the floor of Puget Sound. They've also put detectors on harbor seals to see how they interact with the steelhead. In some cases, they found the fish transmitters where harbor seals spend time on land, indicating they are eating the fish. But they noticed some years the seals ate more, and some years they ate less. And the scientists believe it's connected to abundance of what's called forage fish. And these other prey resources, such as herring and anchovies and um, other bottom fish, are much higher in fat and much more abundant. So we think that um, seals and other things that prey on steelhead and salmon prefer to eat those if they were abundant and when they're abundant. At this lab, scientists believe seals and sea lions would prefer smaller forage fish, but those fish aren't always here. Berejekian says they've started to see a connection between warmer water and an increase in anchovies. And when there are more anchovies, less steelhead are eaten by seals and sea lions. Essentially what we're saying is that if, if we're right about this and that predation is greater on salmon and steelhead when other forage fish and other uh, fish abundance is low, then really what we're talking about is restoration of the Puget Sound ecosystem to support these other prey species. Hi, I'm King 5 environmental reporter Allison Morrow. Check out our Saving the Orcas playlist for more videos like this one. Make sure to subscribe to the King 5 channel to get alerts when there's a new video published. What topic do you want us to cover next? Let us know in the comments below.